Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be showing you guys why I stopped doing computer art using Paint Tool Sci and why I started doing tablet art and iPad Pro using Procreate. So if you'd like to see the difference between these two pieces, please continue watching and let me know what you think when you're done watching the video. So at first I showed you guys the process of me doing line art using Procreate and the only reason why I didn't screen record it was because I was jumping around too much. But that is one thing I do like about this program. If I wanted to just show you guys time lapse photos and videos and things as such, it automatically recorded for me and I really like that compared to Paint Tool Sci where I had to use a third party software to record my process. Paint Tool Sci is still an amazing program and anyone who wants to get into digital art, I would recommend Paint Tool Sci if you want to use a computer. However, for me, using a, an external tablet, it was very difficult for me to create clean line art because I couldn't really figure out the stabilization and things like that. But if you are techno savvy and or if you have the patience to learn how to use the program, it can be an amazing tool for you. As for coloring the drawing in on Procreate, I can say it was a lot easier to do simply because of the fact that like I was able to get a lot of things done faster. Like as for filling in the paint bucket, you could just drag it and drop it where you need it to go and things of that sort. It was a lot easier than paint tool side because instead of looking up at a computer, I was looking down at a tablet and everything that I needed was in the actual screen. I don't know. Just for me, it worked better and it was more convenient and that's why I kind of switched over from doing computer art to tablet art. For me personally, Paint Tool Sci was an amazing experience when I was starting out for digital art. Um, I followed a lot of tutorials and that's where I kind of got the groundwork for what I know now. However, using the graphic tablet was difficult because my computer couldn't really handle the program so there was a lot of lagging, a lot of overheating, and just a lot of technical issues that I had when trying to do digital art which is why I bought the, the tablet that I have now. So I'm not saying in any way, mean or form that Procreate is better than Paint Tool Sci or Paint Tool Sci is better than Procreate. It's just what's easier for you and what allows you to focus more on what's important that's in creating art instead of dealing with technical issues. If you have a computer, 
that can handle the program and run everything smoothly and can recognize your tablet and things like that sort by all means go for it like if you want to use paint tool side and you like computer art do not let this video discourage you this is just the reason as to why i stopped using computer art and maybe if you're having similar problems as i am maybe you could save up towards a tablet and invest in a good art program or even a free one and just try out the difference and take that leap of faith because that might help you with your art Again, I can thoroughly say that I enjoyed my experience with Paint Tool Sci and I'm grateful for everything that I've learned on the program. However, I felt that it was best for me to start using tablet art. It was easier to access and basically because I'm a college student, it was easier for me to do my art on the go versus me having to set up my computer and then plug in the tablet and then go through technical issues and then an hour later starting my art. So Paint Tool Sci is still an amazing program for any of you guys that want to try it out in order to start your digital art, please don't let this video discourage you. It is still an amazing program. This video is just as to why I started using Procreate instead. If there's any other art apps you guys would like me to compare with one another, please be sure to drop them down in the comment section below and I'll do whatever I can. And um, if you like what you've seen, please continue to like, comment, and subscribe and share it with as many, many people if you like. If you didn't like this video, don't be afraid to give it a thumbs down. I mean, I understand. But I hope you guys have a great day and I look forward to seeing you guys next time.